Samaraji the Original. 10 year old, 43% ABV. One of us is right, three of us are wrong. You tell us. What is up? Hey guys, it is Scotch Four Dummies. Four guys on a Scotch journey to help you with your next scotch purchase, hopefully. We're circling back around today. Should we be, are. could be. Beep, we beep, are. Beep, uh, the Glenmo 10. Glenmo. The original, original, as they call it. What's original about it? Uh, <laughs> well, it's actually, <laughs> it's the first scotch that they put down. Uh, Glenmo <laughs> original is a 10 year old, and it is their- it's the foundation. It's their foundation to everything Glenmorangie puts everything. on. Everything. Um, so, it's first and second fill ex American, American bourbon, white oak. Yep. Uh, 43% ABV. Doesn't say anything about non chill filter or natural coloring. Gotta Probably assume, is chill filtered because it's 43%. It's right. right. But um, what kind of notes? Look at how light it is. Uh, maybe they don't put it in natural. Uh, <laughs> it's all second fill? Yeah. I, I don't see any E150 in there, but maybe there is. Um, what kind of notes are we going to get on this? And what's the price point, guys? Uh, I think it's around 40 like around $40, I About think. 40 yeah. bucks American so. here, at I least in so. our market. Yeah, but I mean, this is, it was interesting. We had Dan on our show, Dan Kroll, and he really, we actually have a Glenn Morangie Four Dummies for, video yeah. out, and it talks about this. Where's that at? It's on YouTube, actually, under our channel. You can, can you find put, it? Can't put it there? You can put it right there? It could be right there right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> anywho, we learned a lot about this, and I didn't realize that this is the foundation. It's pretty cool because they've got so many freaking bottles. They do. So many great bottles. The only one, is, is Signet the only one off? Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. yeah, it is. So, but all the other bottles they have. Start with this. Start with this bottle, which is cool. So we're gonna, it's a high lens. So we're gonna get a, a light, probably, you know, semi-fruit maybe, maybe kind of honeycomb or floral, something like that. Floral, vanilla, that's what I'm expecting, yeah. so. Yeah, I mean, they're using their the, the tallest cup or pot stills in Scotland um, that should produce more of a floral whiskey as opposed to like a short fat, like like Macallan, which would be right. a heavier whiskey. Now, to be fair, this is a re-review for us. Yes, It's been it 2016 it since we've done this, so I have forgotten everything about this, so I'm looking forward to giving another shot. Yes. Okay. We've had some whiskey be since then. Between. So, what, some, what coin is this? 64? 64? So, so you too can have coin oh, set number 64 that we use in this review. That nose is lovely. Tell you what, be like the bunker commander and jump on that grenade. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's honey, Wrong. it's floral. There's a, I actually got more alcohol on the nose than I was kind of yeah. anticipating, I'm getting a little bit of red fruit, a little bit. Like grapefruit yeah. and lemon. Yeah, it's, grapefruit is probably what I was looking at. Because because I, I, red fruit, I wasn't getting exactly right, but grapefruit sounds more. more yeah, I swear it's I got, got it. A, it's got a citrusy, yeah. like, Definitely. I don't want to say sour, but like a, well, you cut a grapefruit and it's got that like little bit of bitter mm -hmm. on yeah. the nose. It's like that. That's why you have to, if, if you eat a half a grapefruit, you have to put sugar on it. Because that, just the grapefruit alone, a What's sour. the ABV again? 43? I like the sour. Okay. <laughs> it is 43. Just me. It's not hot in the nose. I, it's a, I see, I, I disagree a little bit. It is a little bit warm. 43? Yeah, maybe. Mmm. I don't think it's hot Sweet. in the nose. Sweetness, yeah. Sweet. Um, light. Hun honey. Big time honey. I'll what? tell you what, for a lighter whiskey, normally the finishes are, unless you get something that's pretty high ABV, the finish is generally wow. pretty short. This one just kind of keeps going for a while. Yeah, honey rolls into like a graham cracker and, and into a um, little bit of a spice finish too. Yeah, but it's not like crazy spicy, but everything is married together really well mm -hmm. and it just flows very nicely from one thing to the next. Oh, I, I really enjoyed that first step. See, I'm not getting a lot in this one for me. I, I'm, I'm getting probably more alcohol burn than I should in the palate, which is unusual. I'm kind of a little bit surprised by that. Um, it's only 43%, but... Interesting. Well, the spicy yeah. note that I'm getting is more of a ginger. Really mm -hmm. interesting to me. Um, the feeling that it's leaving on my palate yeah. is, um, is, is much drier than I anticipated. I was, I was thinking uh, ginger snaps. Ginger snaps. Oh, yeah. Like the bready yeah. with the right. with the little bit of ginger and molasses and yep. 
I was trying to find anywhere on here where it might say natural coloring, but I, I just don't see that. Um, one of the things that I pointed out before we started that I thought was interesting is you don't see the number on, on the bottle. Like mm -hmm. Most bottlings, you know, there's, if it's 12 year old, it says there's a big number one, two on it. You, you gotta kinda really look through it. It's actually pretty hard to read because it's in gold lettering and brown label. And it, that's where it says 10 years old, but it's not a number 10. You have to, I mean, it's, it's not readily thrown out there like most bottles put. Yeah, why, what's, what's the deal with that? What's the marketing behind that? The original is what the marketing is. Yeah, yeah. The original. Which, which, which to our point, it's a foundation. It's, it's the original right. one, well, so. And if you think about the rest of their lineup, they all have a name and they focus on the name and not on, the you know, so the Lasanta is the Lasanta. Right. You know what I mean? And you but have to read through well, right. and figure out the Quint Rubin, yeah. you know, I mean, and they're all, you know, they, they do have age dates. Solera. Yes, yeah. they do. You know, but they, they don't necessarily dwell on that. They dwell on the whiskey and then the finishing barrel, and that's what you're going to get. So, mm -hmm. and this is the foundation for all of that stuff. Yeah. Boy, the, you know, you, you put the cap on it, you come back to it after a few seconds of talking, 30 seconds, a minute, or come back to it, and man, that honey is just there. Nice. Like, and, that, and that's kind of what I'm struggling with tonight. It's, it's too honey, or it's only honey. Maybe it's, a little bit of gram. It's, it is kind of funny though if you think okay. about the honey. I mean, it's, it's there. I mean, no, there's no doubt. But the visual of it too, just it looks like honey. I mean, the orange. Well, that's and, true too. They colored it to make. It I mean, it's like kind honey. of <laughs> kind of crazy for that, but but it, is, it definitely has a honey taste to it, no doubt. I am getting floral on the nose. But there is cut. there is citrus and floral on the nose. Yes, and considering I agree. that it's you know it's all American oak, you know they, it's not overpowered with vanilla or you, it's yeah. not this overpowering oak. Which it could be, you, I kind of expect it, but it's not. Because it's a lighter styled whiskey, and it's 10 years, so I mean, that's a long time to sit in a barrel. But yeah, I mean, it, you can tell by the, the color is very light golden. The the flavor profile is not overwhelmed by the mm -hmm. barrel at all. Uh, and I, I like the honey notes. Uh, there's a little bit of spice on the end. I think we are, um, as first, oh. first and second fill sherry, or first and second fill bourbon cast, I think we are primarily tasting the Glen Morangi stills. You think so? Or I mean, I would say in this one, you're probably more than 50% of the flavor is from the still. So this is it's more distill it, huh? This yeah, is, this that's, is it. Based on the flavors I'm getting, I think probably, but I like I'm it sure, even better with water. I'm sure. I, I, I was going to ask you guys, the water, it's much better with water. I you pass her back. I was. I got the, a heck of a lot more vanilla and, and caramel now the, than I did yeah, before. The, the sweet kind of comes the out. Does come out better. The the spicy note kind of tames down. Everything marries together a little bit better. Absolutely. It's really nice. I really like it with water. Ooh, watch that water. For 43, water. too. So, I mean. And I'm, you're not talking a bottle that's going to break your bank either. No. I mean, I'm. I forgot how We're talking. Ooh, the vanilla comes 40? out in full force. I don't know, what is the, front, what is the price on this, do you remember? I think around $40 to $45. Yeah, so. 40, 40, 45 I think that's probably about right. The, the nose is more interesting now, too. It's got more floral notes to it. It's amazing what Ooh, five or six drops will do. Yes. Peach. Yep. You are totally right. I can get peach on the nose. Wait, it's, it's 45 bucks. you know, depending on tariffs, too. <laughs> Unfortunately. Right. Unfortunately, we have to say that. All right, I'm ready. Have at it, Sean. All right. This is good. So the Glen Morangi original, 10-year-old uh, whiskey, first and second fill American oak barrels, about 40 bucks a bottle. I really enjoy this class. And it's not because it's overly complicated. I think it's because it's, it's not overly complicated. It is what it is. It's a nice... Honey sweet floral glass, and if you're looking for something that's just a nice, easy drinking scotch, I think this fits the bill. And for the money that you're going to pay, kind of hard to shoot it down. Um, it's very well balanced with water, without water, everything kind of flowed naturally from one flavor profile to the next. Nothing seemed forced, nothing seemed out of whack. It's just a, a really nice dram to drink. Um, for 40 bucks, it's kind of hard to argue with it. I don't see why you wouldn't have one on your bar. It, is it overly complex? No, but I don't think that that necessarily is what they were going for with this one. And it becomes a good foundation for all of their other scotches. So I'm going to give it a 2.5. I think it's a nice everyday glass. I wouldn't be ashamed to pour it, and I would gladly take one if somebody offered me one. You said 2.5? Yep. Skip me, man. 
skip me. Right, yeah. Skip me, brother. I'm not so, ready. I'm ready. Um, so I don't like this as much as Sean does. And, and I'll give you a couple reasons why. Um, it, it, you know, it's fairly, it's one-dimensional to me. It's not the flavor profile I like. I mean, I like, it's so light and honey and I'm getting more alcohol than I should be on this, I think, even with the water. I'm like, what's going on? Why am I not getting any, any richness? It's all like, it feels to me kind of superficial a little bit. It's, it's not off-putting. There's no bad flavors in it. There's no sourness. There's no grass. There's no, you know, baby vomit. You know, all those kind of things that can happen from a new make whiskey if, you're not, if you don't cut it right. It's clearly cut right. It is um, pretty tame, though, for me. And I don't know if I would, I wouldn't buy this bottle for my bar because I, I don't particularly prefer it. I'm just the way it hits me today. So I'm going to go with a 1.5 on this because um, there are a lot of other bottles at $45 that I would much prefer to have in my bar than this one. So now that it's a bad bottle, it just isn't, it isn't hitting for me today. So. Okay. That's, that's fair. I mean, I'm, I'm actually, I like both your guys' statements. I'm, I, 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 <laughs> I agree with Sean that this is very pleasant. I really like what I'm getting out of it. With with uh, without water, it was um, man, the citrus was there. It was light, a little floral, um, and it was nice on the on the palate. But with the water, it really opened up more for me with the vanilla and caramels. I enjoyed that. Now it's not going to give you a big flavor explosion. Absolutely, that's where you come in right. Yeah. It, is, it is fairly one dimensional in that fact, but it's pleasant. I guess I'm looking at it for what I go my. Would I buy this in my bar? Would I go to it when I'm, you know, playing with you online doing something? You know, I'm like, yeah, I think I would, I would buy this one for the bar. So I'm gonna give it a little up. I'm, I'm between a two and a two five right now. And I think for what you're getting out of this one, and the other thing I mentioned too, I did mention is that you can chew on. I'm sitting and chewing on it. Like it's just got a nice little chewy finish. It does which have I a pretty long sure. finish. Yeah, so it's I mean, a longer I, finish now. It's enjoyable, and so. For lower ABV scotches, it's pretty good. I can see why it's the foundation. I'm, I'm going to go two five. I, I I enjoy this scotch. All right, I guess I got to go. Yeah, uh, I've been now. I've been all over in my mind where I am on this. And, um, <laughs> You're exploring because I, I honestly this um I actually enjoy it, and it's I think I'm at kind of a crossroads in my my scotch journey. I guess I'll confess to you guys on this. Right, I've gone through my peatiness phase, I've gone through my sherry bomb phase, I'm still pretty heavily in the sherry bomb phase, yeah, but I'm starting to come out of it, <laughs> and I'm really starting to appreciate just basic scotch, you know, uh, yep. and actually, as much as I love the cast strength, and as much as we can drink the cast strength, boys, because we can, I'm actually really starting to yep. appreciate your 43s and your 40s, just to find, I mean, it's, it's a little harder. And I think once you've gone around the block a few times, you appreciate them. You, you, it's easy to dismiss them, right? Especially when you want to put water on this. You're like, really? How much water can 43% handle? I tell you what, 43 really opened this bad boy up. It needed it. I can't believe it needed it. Um, so I, I'm stuck between a 2 and a 2.5 because I, I like what I get out of this glass. Um, it, there's a lot to get out of it, whether it's the honey, whether it's the citrus, whether it's the floral, okay? Um, got a little bit of ginger spice on it, but it was it was subtle. It wasn't like a, a, a spice bomb. Put a little water on it. It opened up, brought some vanillas out. <laughs> it didn't stay as long as I wanted them to. Um, long finish. Uh, things are good, but it's, again, it's not some complex, you know, multi-dimensional, going to blow your mind scotch. I don't think it's meant to be. I do appreciate Andrew's fact uh, and statement of saying, I think what you're tasting is more Maranji stills and distill it. I, I like that. That's pretty cool. Yep. Um, and I see why they use this as their foundation. Mm -hmm. It's it's yeah. a great scotch Absolutely. to this, start. This things. is like this is like the blender that that Johnny Walker uses, and then they add their stuff to it to make all their good stuff. Got to have that foundation. Base. This is the base. Absolutely. So I appreciate that. Um, I, I think it's a great start, and I, I honestly agree with you, Drew. I would have this on my bar for two reasons. Number one, I drink it and not feel guilty about going, I'll never be able to get that one again, <laughs> you know, because you can't get that one tomorrow. And, and second, it's a fun glass to share with somebody that doesn't know what the hell they're doing with scotch or whiskey yep. to general. You know, let's break this down, guys. You, what do you smell? That that comes from this. This kind, you know. So if, for the price point, I I'm gonna give it a two five. I like it that much. And I'm, I'm definitely willing to have, I actually have several Glenmos on my bar, not this one or at this point in time, but I don't see a reason why I shouldn't have this one, so 2.5. Okay. All right. So you that get 2.5? That math five? is hard. 2.5, mm -hmm. 2.5. 1.5. 1.5. That's a tough math. He said that math is hard. 
I'm gonna drink. All right. <laughs> Did you guys so, get that? <laughs> coin. Remember, if you want to, if you want a coin that we use for Shit. this review, coin number sixty-four. Go online, scotchrooms.com. Order it. Specifically request coin number sixty-four. And stop by and see us on Thursdays. Yep. Man, Glenmo. <laughs> Eat that. Glenmo, baby. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers, man. Cheers.